What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we've got a couple of big stories for you and we're just going to dive right into them. Uh, the first one has to do with um, this little graphic that you can see on the screen right here uh, behind me. and. You know, the, a lot of the features, I mean, it's not showing every single feature, but a lot of the features that have been improved in coming to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and I kind of wanted to just go through it and, you know, you tell me in the comments down below which one you think is the best. Circle to search, interpreter, circle to search is when you circle something, either with your finger or the pen, and it will search for that object or that well, those words. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, interpreter is gonna allow you to do two-way conversations very naturally with AI, live translate, very something, uh, just what I said. Actually, maybe I got interpreter wrong then. <laughs> Sounds the same, you can correct me where I'm wrong with that. Note assist, uh, it'll keep track of your notes that you write down. Chat assist, um, it'll you go through all your chats and stuff like that and assist you with all your chats and organizing them. Transcript assist, again, you can, you can organize that stuff. You got the new memory and storage uh, amounts, which are basically the same from throughout the years, up to 12 gigs of, of uh, memory, and then 256, 512, or one terabyte of storage, a 5,000 milliamp battery, the dynamic AMOLED 2X display, which I've heard <clears throat> through Ice Universe that it looks a little bit different, looks might look dimmer than it normally does because of the, the, the coding that they're using with that um, new Gorilla Glass, so just be aware of that. Quick share, which allows, they've had it on other phones, but you can share files really quickly with each other. Um, you got the new camera system up there with all the megapixels, the 200 megapixels, and the quad camera telephone, tele uh, uh, system for the camera. You have night photography and space zoom up to 100X zoom. Pro Visual Engine Titanium Frame, which is new, Corning Gorilla Armor Photo Assist. Uh, to take uh, care of all the new features built into the camera um, where you can like remove people or make them smaller, stuff like that. The one thing that, that I didn't hear mentioned and I spoke to one of my friends too that has the phone and uh, removing people from video was not in there which was supposed to be in there, I guess. Uh, the new colors. What's your favorite thing in there? When I look at this for me, it's probably gonna be photo assist that I'm most excited to try out. Photo Assist, and then I would probably say maybe Live Translate, because I that would be kind of cool to use that in a, when I speak to people around here that speak Spanish. I can't speak Spanish, but let me know about you guys. Put it in the comments down below. Now, before we get into the last story, if you want to take advantage of the pre-order, it's still linked down below. You can still get a lot of the free pre-order gifts. You get up to $150 with just my link. You don't have to wait for your reservation link if you haven't received it or you didn't find it. It, just click on the link down below and take advantage and it supports the site. Without further ado, let's get to the last story. It has to do with the Exynos 2400 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Now the 8 Gen 3 is only on the S24 Ultras. You can only, you can only get that. The S24 Ultra only comes in at the 8 Gen 3, I should say. But in some parts of the world, the S24 Plus and the S24 come with, again, in some parts of the world, come with the Exynos 2400. But how do those two perform against each other? Well, there's some, there's, a, there's actually a whole video on it, but it's, I guess it's in uh, Vietnamese, unfortunately, which I don't know Vietnamese. But what I was gonna say is, what's cool is that both the Exynos 2400 and the 8 Gen 3 perform very, very close against each other. You can see with Gen Chen Impact that, you know, trying to get the, the high frame rate, 50 to 60, and that's the same on both of these. 50 to 60, low frame rates average 32 to 55, this one averaged 35 to 55, and the percentages of the, the heat are basically the same for the most part, 44.6 versus 44. That's amazing, and in, the, in this other benchmark, Exynos 2400 actually beat the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Exynos scored over 200,000 points higher, but reaches a higher peak in average temperature overall. But still, I mean, these are close enough that we probably won't notice a huge difference, which is good. We were worried about the Exynos 2400 really competing with the 8 Gen 3, and it looks like it can. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.